put a safety mark over there as well, just in case. What is this monstrosity? Is this what you were after? Is this what you really wanted? Emilius, I tried to stop you and ended up with only this. Drop it, Emilius! Get off! Ugh. Zorn's claw. It's turned you into something inhuman. It's that demon sword. Zorn's power has driven you mad. <sighs> <sighs> That's a plot twist. Raven should have joined my party. That sucker's been running around doing his own thing. Everything is a mimic. Card. Face the flames of judgment. Oh, I got to die from that. Well, I wasn't expecting all that fire to do that much damage. Oh, you're casting that. 
too. And it wasn't insane damage. The fear card. I pity you. What a babu! Teleporting around is so cool. There's a chest over there. Correctly, these guys they are big problems. Oh, and you just happen to be casting it on him. Oh, divine comet, slice through the pitch black night. Teleporting would be a great power in real life. You know, I agree with this. The fear card. I pity you. It it would be teleporting one's self would be very useful, but the actual usefulness would be being able to teleport objects and things. That's where the real use comes from. This is... It's getting so dark. You both play with it. This has become very bad. This is not the person who I thought it was. Leave this to me. Like, if I can go to the grocery store, pay for my stuff, and then, you know, I ride it out into my car, I put it into my trunk, and then I just teleport it into my room. It's, uh, Pick a card. Any card. That's, that, that's where the real use is. So I don't have to carry it inside my house. Control is a better power, but you would accept teleporting. Time control is cool. For sure. It's probably the most powerful power you could have. to say chaos control every time you use time control. And that might not be worth it. Oh my goodness. That did a lot of damage. That was a close one. Oh. 
Fight this big guy. Those guys, I definitely do not want to fight. Started running a new D&D campaign. Ah. Now that the law school is no longer a thing. Uh, this year, you gotta fill in some of that time. What did I just get? Warrior's Charm. Thor's SP at set inner. Hmm, that's interesting. Too, like, are you the running in? And the you know, just as you're running, right there. Literally says it right there. The Earth card. This isn't your lucky day. That, that actually did a lot of damage. A lot more damage than I was expecting. Session Zero started last night. The players are taking control of important key members of city government or well-known powerful people. The objective is to keep the city in a functional state until the ruling monarch returns in six months of game time. Ooh, that sounds... Ooh, that kamikaze does not sound good. That sounds very interesting, Dr. Uh, one of those... Uh, one of those, like, this campaign is going to have a definite end, and, um, yeah.
card. Face the flames won't, of judgment. Won't go on forever. Sounds like a nice, uh, nice concept. I was trying to think of like a video game that it reminds me of because Aramio was talking about they are billions earlier, and that's just kind of the thing that came to mind for me. Oh, you didn't get the thing? Seems just like a regular attack. Curious if I would like to play as an async leader of a subversion fact. I wouldn't have to show up for any sessions, but make some decisions that would impact factions' behavior in the game. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, my my initial reaction to that is heck yeah. <laughs> Bring them on. That one's like far back. I, yeah. That one, that one just felt like a mimic. Instant death. I'm not sure these mimics are worth fighting. Oh, magic staff, lend me your power. Well, I I knew that, but they're mimics, you know. They should have something, right? We we're casting a howl nado. The flames of judgment. Our natives are not good. so that he wouldn't get, or multiple people wouldn't get hit by it. And then that's exactly what happened.
camera, please. Yeah, we'll fight one of these guys. See if I want to continue to avoid them. The answer to that question is yes. Table of problems the general populace is currently facing. There's some good trade problems with getting access to food supplies currently. And a small plague has broken out in a poverty section of the city. But we'll have to start solving that in the first sessions. There's a sub-objective of gaining more power or wealth for their own character or faction they represent. So they may ignore things to further their own goals. Sounds very cool. Oh, magic staff, lend me your power. That's a uh... That's definitely a very, very cool concept that I'm not sure I would have ever thought of. The destruction card. Basically, everyone has a hidden personal objective and a shared objective of keeping the city alive till the timer runs out. But not accomplishing a personal objective means the player just loses at the end. So, um... Like, I recognize that everyone is, like, part of a faction that wants to save the city and, and whatnot, but is everyone kind of doing their own thing? Since that's what it, that's what it sounds like. It kind of sounds like a uh, like a turn-based. Just hearing it, it sounds like a turn-based system, where it's like, okay, it's it's your turn to make a move. How do you want to proceed going down this particular path? Yada yada. Uh, is that what I just picked up? It has to be what I just picked up. Uh, certainly very, very interesting. I'll put you at 217. I'll make you a better spellcaster than her. You have no MP, though. Well, you have 200. I guess that's not terrible. But, it's not great. fight. I'm not ready for a boss fight. I cannot radar thingy. What's that sound?
Raven, I'm afraid you weren't cut out to be a god. <laughs> What's so funny? Zorn's power. <laughs> Raven! You know that I... I love you. I love you. Always. I've always loved you. <laughs> Yes, Amelius was just chilling. I also don't really understand Raven's objective there, like, he could have done, if, if that was something that he wanted to do, he could have been doing that a lot, you know, because he could teleport. But why wasn't he doing any of that? Actually, do a safety mark here. Probably gonna have to fight a guy with a, a arm. Why is we didn't fight him first? Actually, I don't know. Can run away from me again.
Well, I was gonna say I've learned my lesson and I'm gonna kill La Ilim, La Lim, but uh, I don't know. Maybe this only takes one damage, so I have to attack it 64 times. from a spell. Oh divine comet, slice through the pitch black night. <laughs> Chaos lore flare is not good. <laughs> Leave this to me. Uh, the sessions are basically council meetings where players get together and decide where resources are put. Decisions are made, general news is given. I'm gonna die in this. Player uh, share information or deals. And then individual sessions happen within the following week as events happen within the player's own faction or to them personally. Okay. So so it is kind of like a a turn-based system. Um you know, kind of like a like a tactics game where where like everybody gets a, like there's a round and everyone gets a turn in the round and then everyone's plan kind of goes into motion and then you're kind of reacting to what's happening during like the active phase and then you go back into the preparation setup phase. That sounds very cool. Assuming he's going to resurrect. Um, uh, the dragon or the dinosaur or whatever. But if I can just have it go away for like two turns or something like that, that would be great. Oh, 
poison's annoying. The fear card. I pity you. Oh, the dragon or the T Rex dude is dead. Alright, try this for a turn. I grant you the speed of light. And it was actually doing something. Definitely want to cancel. This should make you feel better. a card. Any card. There's multiple hits for that. Well, this isn't good. Wow. Uh, but it's a risky wow. Attack power up. Oh, divine comet. Slice through the pitch black. Pick a card. Any card. Don't hit Donna, please. Oh, that's 
sitting there, buddy. Here, buddy, for big damage. Leave this to me. That canceled. Who's that coming up? You? Oh, Divine Comet. Should clean you right up. Should have went for the other option. Right. Dinosaur is back. Unfortunate. That's not good. Casting all kinds of stuff that I don't want to oh, see. Oh, divine comet! Slice through the pitch black night.
need her to heal, but I she'll die if, oh, divine comic. Slice if she gets hit by that. Time to rise and shine. Could be the end of the road. You won't get away with this. Last hole of death for sure. How could this happen? Oh, okay, it was only one target. Time to rise and shine. Spending so much time trying to kill this I'll stupid skull, I probably could have killed the boss by now. It's getting so dark. Up. Caster. You won't get away with this. Oh. This I really need stuff like that to not happen anymore. Oh, divine comet. Slice through the pitch black night. for quite some time. Oh, 
Bet you can't tell which one is me. <laughs> Keep an eye on my shadow. Poison I really don't care about. Sure. This might it is kind of annoying. Bang on this. The destruction card. Face the flames of judgment. Let's even get like three damage. Five damage would be cool too. Card. Face the flames of judgment. That's six HP. Can I get six damage? I think I saw one, maybe two. It was one. I was hoping that would launch him, but it didn't. The destruction card. Face the we just gotta do one damage. damage. I believe you can do one damage. Card. Face the flames of judgment. Big damage. Glad I went for that instead of canceling. I was thinking about canceling. Right. 
Before he kills all Leave Fina. this to me. Attack to knock him up. Oh man, that was definitely disrespectful. Oh, magic staff, lend me your power. Card. Face the flames of judgment. that again. I don't think he's at enough HP. Oh, oh. We're not going to get there fast enough. Should have bought more digs. It's kind of coming back to to haunt me right now.
Alrighty. Well, that is where we're going to wrap it up for today. Uh, I would imagine we have minimum one more boss before we could even fight Amelius. Probably two, because we got to fight the guy, or there's that guy with the beret that we know like nothing about. Um, so it's possible that we'll have to fight him as well uh, before Amelius, but for sure the punch guy, I'm really surprised that he hasn't been fought yet. Maybe, maybe he's going to come over to the light side. He's been showing some signs of that. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow, uh, 7 a.m. Pacific time, to continue um, Grandia 3. I'm going to raid... Uh, no, the otter, because I, like, never get to do that. So, you know, I'm just going to do that real quick. And, uh, yeah. Uh, see ya the next time I see ya. Peace.